Okay, hey everybody. So now in this step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the FISMO rolls, move them off of DC01. Because right now, let's, uh, nope, I don't wanna do that. So let's do this. Let's do net DOM query FISMO. Okay, this is gonna tell us where everything is. So we have schema master, domain naming master on DC2. DC1 has the PDC, the RID pool manager, and the infrastructure master. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move them over to DC02 for now. And for those three, they're pretty easy. We just need to go into sites. No, not sites, users and computers. Um, okay, so all we wanna do here is go here. Let's look at what doma domain controller we're on. We're gonna change our domain controller and let's do test two, DCO2. So now what we can do is go to here, the domain, operations masters, and we'll move this. Yes, successful, PDC, change, yes, successful, and the infrastructure, change, yes, okay. So those have all been moved, it was pretty easy. Let's do the query of the FISMO rolls. And now you can see there are no FISMO rolls on this server anymore. Perfect. Okay, so we have everything running. We have, and also everything showed up right in sites and services. Let me just show you that. So now sites and services, it just took a few minutes, but everything's there, all the connections, everything. We knew it was replicating, but now the actual connections are shown there. That's good. All right, so now we are at the demote the old server. So let's do that. So we're gonna go in here and this is gonna be a de demotion of DC01. So we go to dashboard, add roles and services, and we start the remove. There we can select that. We use this one and we're gonna take away domain services, remove features. And now it's gonna give us the option to demote. So we just wait for that to come up. Okay. It's going to say it found a problem. What did it find? Okay, it's just saying, no, it's, it's not really, didn't really find a problem, it just says demote it. Which we're gonna do. We're running with a, an account that can do this and we're gonna proceed with removal. And then we have to give it a administrator password, a local administrator, just like we did before. And then we're gonna demote. Okay. So right now, this is our last 2012 server we are demoting it. I'm gonna close some of these windows. All right, it's gonna sign me out, which is fine, that's good. I'm gonna reboot. All right, so at this point, we should see 
DC01. Look at DC01. There's not a lot going on there. But it's still there. It's still in sites and services. So just remember that you have to, and we had to in the last time, remove it manually. We had to delete it from sites and services. I think that's going to be the case this time also. And you can see now it does not show a DC type. And we looked last time and everything else was cleaned out nicely. There was no DNS issues. DNS looked clean with just DC01 and new DC02, which is great. Okay, so that should be coming back up. Let me just check why. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, it does have internet access, that's fine. Okay, so as soon as this comes back up, what we're gonna do next is to change the IP and the name of this old server. And that is gonna be, that's gonna be all we have to do with this server. We've already copied, did we already copy it over? I don't think we did. We didn't copy the DHCP scope. Let's get that ready. So what I'll do over here is create a new folder. I'm just gonna call it DHCP. This is gonna be our DHCP that we're running. So right now, the DHCP on here is not gonna work anymore. But that's really nothing to worry about because we still have a secondary DHCP plus anything that got a, a uh, lease is going to keep it and won't start asking for a new one until later anyway. So shouldn't be a problem unless we were going to leave this down for you know, eight days or four days or whatever, it won't be an issue. Okay, let's wait while that server comes back up. Anything else we need to do here? We have DHCP, that's fine. Okay, so that's up. Let's copy that file real quick while we're here. I'm gonna open up a file explorer. And that is called DC01, C$, dollar. I should be able to connect to it, and DHCP, and I'm just gonna copy this so that we are, we're gonna be completely done with the server once we rename it. Perfect, okay. So that's in there, let's log into here. So I can do control alt end. That works. Okay, so that's gonna give me an error. And the reason it's doing that is because I think I only had Let's use another user. I only had the one DNS on this. So that's, that should not have been like that. And it should, it wouldn't be. So administrator, sign into, let's, let's sign into the local. We're not gonna, we're not gonna sign into, let's see. Okay, there we go. Got, yeah. Okay, I did that incorrectly. Let's do this backslash. There we go. So now we should be able to log in. Admin. Yeah, let's spell that right. So I don't think this would normally be a problem. This is just a problem because of how I think I have DNS set up. That's why we couldn't log back into the domain. Uh, 
And I'm about to confirm that. Yeah, see, I only had the one. So really, I, I need to have the 10, 120, 10, 180, 10.101 should also be there. Okay, let's just close this. So let's make sure that works. So I'm just going to sign out of here. And I'm going to sign back in. It's still giving me that. Yeah, it still doesn't like it. I mean, it's not a huge deal. Because all we need to do is go in here, but it's something to be aware of. The fact is, on DC2, we were pointing to DC1 as our primary. So DNS is still running on here. That's why I think it's still responding, and it's looking, and it can't find... Well, let's see, is DNS still running? So DNS really isn't running on here, so this is kind of garbage. Okay. Um, so what we'll do now is let's rename it here. So make sure you know, and you will know because you have, when you demote, you put in the password. So I don't think that's going to be a, a problem, but it's just something to be aware of. All right, let's go to local server and we're going to go to DC01 and we're going to change the name. And we're going to make this old DC01. All right, so it's not gonna like that. So this is, okay, so what we're gonna have to do is actually go in here, change this. So this is something good to know. And we'll just make this 10, 180, 10.101, and make this 100. That's fine. Well, you know what? In fact, we do want to change the IP though. So we might as well do that now. So make this 112. Okay, close that. Close that. All right. So now Got all that closed. Now we should be able to do this. Let's try this. So now, so it's still saying it can't be connected to, let's see, why is that? So it should be looking to the DNS. Let's see, why is that not at this point? 
Let me just double check that. So let's cancel this, cancel this. Let's go back into here. Let's flush our DNS. And then let's try testdomain.local. Not find it. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. Let's figure out what's going on here. So we've got this. Let's open this up again. Uh, let me take out this alternate. Let me get rid of this. Okay, let me just make sure nothing else is in here. That's fine. That is fine. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not seeing test domain dot local, but let's go in here. Okay, so we've got 109, we've got DC02, which is 109, right? DC02, well, let me see if I can ping DC02, ping DC02. Okay, it's returning Okay, let's do ping dash four. Okay, that's right. Okay, so it's not able to find it. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna reboot this thing. Just going to restart this and see if we can find out why that is not able to connect. Okay, the computer rebooted. Let's try to get back into into it. So DC one. Let's try. Let's try the domain controller. All right. Let's try to sign into test domain. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it's going to be okay now. Okay, fine. Well, that was interesting. So let's just finish up 
the rename. I've already changed the IP address. So all we need to do, let's just double check that. Should be able to see it right here. Yep, it's on 112, so let's just change this. Old DC01. All right, so we're still having some kind of issue here. Uh, let's see. All right, let's try one more time. Network path not found. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to try to troubleshoot this, and we'll come back in the next one and hopefully complete this.